Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today's going to be a slightly different one. I'm going to be doing a property tour in Gorsko Kalagorovo. I'm sure I've butchered that, but I'll 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 uh, I'll put it in the description. So I'm going to make a video today. I'm going to take dimensions. I'll see if I can sort out a floor plan. Take some pictures. Take some video. Um, we're going to put this up on our website where we'll have a few more details. But everything else will be in the description below with the price and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so here we are. We're actually down a little uh, side entrance here. And I'll show you the property line. It starts at this wall here and comes up. This is not the main entrance. This is not the main road. And one thing to uh, to mention here is I was really surprised at how good the roads are. It was uh, it was a great drive. So this here will be your side access into the barn, which has a door and uh, like a garage door. You could easily fit a car through there. If you wanted to remove this section from the inside, you could probably get a, uh, a larger van, truck, maybe a caravan in there. So here we are, coming to the back of the property. Let's keep going up and we'll get to the main road. I call it a main road. I think since I've been here, there's only been one car and there's a second one. Oh, and a third. Okay, so these are the adjacent neighbors up here. I think we go to the old school, maybe the square and back to the property. I'm trying to get pictures of the roof here because it is in fantastic condition had some minor repairs done chimney stack has been supported Let's see if I can zoom there everything's been done new flashing and let's go along this way so I can show you the other boundary of the land so this would be your main entrance here and this is actually the upstairs of the house so the upstairs is on the road level and we actually go down to the uh, to the ground floor. As you can see in the background, I'll, I'll stop over here. There's some wonderful views, rolling hills, forests. It's uh, it really is lovely there. Nice wall. Let's walk along the road, and the land goes all the way to this neighbouring property. So I'll show you from that point. I will put in the description the exact amount of land, as I'm not too sure. So here is the edge of the property, going all the way back to where we started, and down the lane, and then it comes back and joins. I'll try to get a, a nice picture of the roof from this side. I imagine there'll be no repairs to be done to this. This is uh, in real nice condition. It's the older tiles as well are much stronger and they seem to last a lifetime. While I'm out the front I'll try and show you the condition of underneath the roof, which is just fab. No problems here at all. So let's go in. So a couple of steps here, going down. And the land here, I'm imagining is somewhere over a thousand square meters, it has to be. It goes all the way to the property line, all the way down to where these larger trees are, it comes back, and there's actually a portion beyond uh, beyond the barn there. A really nice feature of this garden, I'll show you as I walk down the stairs, is somebody spent an awful lot of time terracing this land and properly retaining the soil with uh, with walls, pathways. It's, uh, it's a little overgrown at the moment, but nothing that a long weekend wouldn't fix. You can probably see on the floor here, that this was probably a growing area 
fert uh, very fertile soil here. You can see how much these, uh, this is actually elder. You can see how they've just taken over. These ones on this side are actually taller than I am. They've got to be over six foot. So yeah, very fertile soil. Perfect for somebody wishing to grow their own veg. And as I say, everything has been terraced really well. I hope it shows up in the pictures. Somebody spent an awful lot of time doing this and they've done it really well. We've got some fruit trees here. I'll see if I can walk to the boundary or at least close to. So the boundary is at that house. Oh yeah, there's a there's an awful lot of land here. It's been worked out really well. See, there was probably a fence here at some point. I imagine down there was for animals. There's a view of the house. Try and get the roof from this side. Really is lovely. Very quiet here as well. So let me walk through this area and we'll go down to the barn. Again, lovely terraced area here. This is very, very flat. And again, it was probably used for growing something. So let's walk down. So, start with the roof. Everybody wants to know what the roof is like. And this one is superb. Very straight, no missing tiles, no slips, no cracks. Brilliant condition. The only thing I would do put some guttering on the outside and actually you could probably collect the water to use in your garden. I'm gonna go upstairs if I can. Actually I'll tell you what I won't because that's very thorny but I'll just show you the first floor of this barn and you can see from the inside you can't even see daylight it's uh, it's a really well maintained roof structure here. I'll put the dimensions of this on a floor plan so you can check that out. And we'll go round and I'll show you the, uh, the underside to that space that we were just looking at, just for a door here. Now we do have a small window and all of this structure here is stone. This is uh, a lovely, cool space. It's actually quite warm today, hitting about 12 degrees. This would be great for a pantry. Now the floor, we've got, yep, we've actually got a solid floor here with tile or concrete blocks. And I am five foot nine, and I can walk underneath this beam here, which is the lowest point of the room. So this could actually be a decent space I imagine for a pantry, or storage, wood storage, could be anything. Real nice, easy access as well. So out from this space, and we're into the area where I said that you could bring a car through. So this would actually be, if I move back over here, this would actually be a nice little, uh, like a carport, somewhere to park your vehicle. Again, great roof structure here. To the side of that, you've got a small area which was probably for storing hay, perhaps there were some animals here. We've got some, uh, some feeding troughs built into the wall. How cool is that? Really strong structure here as well. The walls are dead straight, no movement at all. Let's walk through to the larger space over here. So the bottom foundation stones are in real good shape. They've been pointed, no movement. It's the same all the way around these structures here. And here we have a step down. This is some wood storage. 
again, really large double height space here. It's fantastic. Hopefully you can see here that the walls are dead straight. This was built very, very well. And I think I've got an idea when it was built. I actually just saw on the back of the garage door, or maybe it was when the garage door was built, I'm not sure. But I did see that's uh, the 15th of the 7th, is that? Yeah, VII. 1953. Really cool feature to have. Now opposite the barn space, again, a lovely terraced area. We have what I'm assuming was either for animals or a long drop. No, that was definitely for animals. Probably chickens kept in here at some point. I don't know if you'd want to keep this. Might need a little bit of restoration just to make it watertight. But yeah, lovely little structure. And against these wonderfully terraced walls, they're uh, in fantastic condition. Really, really good. All right, that's enough of the outside, I think. I'll take some photos. I'll put some photos in here as well. Let's make our way over to the house. Okay, going through the, the jungle of Elder. There is a staircase over here. And we have an outdoor sink. Lovely cast iron piece. Oh, that's so cool. And we have a light above here. And guttering coming down. This would be a great area to catch water again. So you can water your plants. So here we are, ground floor. This goes up to the first floor. But let's start down here. Right, let's go in. So here we have what I'm calling the front door. Let's have a look inside. So we have new subfloors with OSB. I've tested them. Very, very flat. They've been done properly. And there's been an entire rewire in this property, which is often one of the things that people are scared to do by themselves. So the fact that it's already been done can only be a bonus. Let's make a lovely little kitchen area. And look at this old strike. Look at that. This was probably original to the property when it was built. And the owners have decided to, uh, to build it into the wall. Look at that. That's brilliant. The one thing that I do like about this room is that you've got a window door here and windows at the back, so you've got light from both sides. Not a dark space at all. I'll put the, uh, I'll put the dimensions in for this room. And then we go through to the right. And this would be a small, I don't know, maybe a dining area. Again, you can see the electrics have all been done, chased into the walls. This is just the uh, final finish needs to be done, really. Lovely wide boards here. That's got to be 30 centimetres across, 12 inches. Lovely whiteboard. So yeah, a bit of sanding maybe. And this would be a great space. Really, really cool. And we have access here for the chimneys. So you could put a wood stove here, if that's what you wish to do. And lovely thick walls. These are actually stone walls. And they've got to be 50 centimetres, I would say. Now, the one thing that I would do personally, it's not essential, but I would put in double glaze panels here. Um, these are actually in pretty good nick. They're not so bad. If, if you're into doing a renovation, you could definitely bring these back to life. But if you choose just to replace them, double glaze units wouldn't be too expensive for this property. Let's go back through into another space. Lovely high ceilings in here. 
and we've got the old stone floor to ceiling. This is a very large space. So that's the back of that unit. So I imagine you would want to uh, hide that. Maybe have some extra storage on this side. And you can see the beam structure above. It's amazing. Again, full rewire in this area. It's all been done. All been chased through. And there's double doors there going to the outside. I don't know if you'd want to keep those. Maybe you could make a, a cubby, perhaps put your television in there. This would be a really nice space. Again, the subfloors are in great condition. There's no bounce. I'm not going to jump up and down on camera, but uh, yeah, they're, they're in really good nick. So three rooms downstairs. Actually, I suppose this room here is large enough to be divided into two. If that's what you'd like to do, perhaps you could come across here and divide this space into two. But I think a, a large lounge in here, a kitchen area, and a dining area, or maybe even an office. If you're working online, this would be a really nice space. Lovely view outside to the garden. I've actually just seen this up here. This says the 12th of the 8th, 1945. And this means year. That small character there. So maybe that's actually when this structure was built. Perhaps the, uh, the date that I saw earlier was just for the barn. But yeah, this is uh, in great condition. There's no smell of damp in here. I will go through with the moisture meter and I will check any suspicious areas but as of right now I haven't seen any suspicious areas so there's nothing to check it all looks great now another thing that I didn't actually consider at first is that this opening is here to connect the two rooms you don't necessarily need this if you wanted to board that up you could and you could use this space here lovely wide opening there to get into the larger room Now I'm going to head upstairs and I'll show you where I think this property really, really shines. But first I'll show you the view from up here. Now bear in mind we're in December, so there's not much greenery left. But I imagine in the spring and the summer this would be absolutely stunning. Lovely original window here. Uh, sorry, a door. A window door. Oh, look at this. This is brilliant. Lovely solid wood flooring, which has been screwed and dowed. Really nice touch. So this is our small hallway. Let me close this up. And again, full rewire upstairs. This would have been one open space, which has now been uh, turned into a hallway where you get into a bathroom which I'll, uh, I'll go into in a second. But first we'll go to the right and we'll show you this room here. Very large window. Again, this is great. New subfloor. We have an area to put a, a wood burner if you wish. And a lovely nice aspect out to the garden. And you would get that view. Lovely high ceilings here, and even the doorways I can fit under without ducking. So, into the hallway, and we'll turn right, and we'll go into the bathroom. I think this is the light. It is. Okay, 
So the bathroom is somewhat complete. We've got a tiled floor. There's a boiler in place. We have a shower in place, tiled, correctly installed, a toilet and a sink. Now this is plenty of space in the bathroom. It really is. I'll put the dimensions in the description. We're on a floor plan. But all you need to do in this space is just finish it. A little bit of plasterboard work, a little bit of plastering needs to be done. But that's it. I have been told that there's new drainage and a new septic system. So all of this drainage has been complete under the floor, goes out at the back of the building and goes to a new septic system. Again, another worry for a lot of people looking to renovate a place, but the job has already been done. And we've got a UPVC window there and loft access to the roof. So with the bathroom on my right, this is where I really love this property. This has all been done to a very good standard. We actually have two rooms here that have been divided. So this will be the same size as the larger room downstairs, but with much higher ceilings. I'd say these have got to be nine feet, maybe 10 feet. So we are at the ground level to the road outside now. Hope that makes sense. And again, the room just needs to be finished. It's been, uh, it's been done very well, this space. Again, I'll put the, uh, the dimensions in the description. Let me go through here. Nice double aspect here. So this will go out to the garden, which is where we entered the property, just here. And this looks out to the road. Yeah, really, really nice space here. Nice, light and airy. Plenty of space for a king-size bed and some furniture. So that would make this property three bedrooms upstairs. Three bedrooms or two bedrooms in an office, depending on how you want to do things. But yeah, it's been worked out very well. Nicely sized space. So the hallway, back into this bedroom. So I would call this the, the main bedroom. I believe it's got probably the nicer view of the garden over onto the hills, a bit more secluded. The bathroom, and here you'd probably put a door on the left and a door on the right. A second bedroom. And a third bedroom. All really nice and light spaces. Just noticed here, growing just behind the gate, this is actually hops. These are wild hops. So if anybody's interested in making beer, you've already got the plants here. So from the looks of it, all of the hard work has been done. You've got new subfloors, you've had a full rewire, you've got a new septic system. I mean, it's, uh, it's a great property. It's a nice size as well. You know, it uh, hasn't got low ceilings anywhere which is fantastic if you're over six foot or you prefer higher ceilings. The roof is in great condition. 
I mean, it's 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 like it's new with old tiles. It, it really is good. Um, the location is fantastic. It's very quiet here. You've uh, you've got walks, you've got scenery, you've got peace and quiet. You've got a really good aspect with the sun. So where the sun comes over, it's uh, it's light in almost every room. Actually, in every room. And we're we're in the dead of uh, of December now. So I imagine in the summertime it would be lovely. The land is is great. Really, really well terraced here. It's not just one big slope, which can be problematic for for people wanting to grow things. Um, I mean, this could be a, a really decent family home. Uh, two or three bedrooms upstairs or study, you know, however you want to do it. And you've got that extra room downstairs as well. So I think there's a lot of scope here. Definitely a lot of scope. You've got an area as a pantry, if, uh, if that's what you're into. The barn, really nice size. Plenty of space in there for a workshop. And uh, yeah, loads of garden space here. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Really, really good property. Real strong property. There's no damage here. Nothing that anybody would need to repair straight away, you know. Uh, everything here is cosmetic. A couple of uh, broken panels, window panels. That's uh, 20 lev, <laughs> 10 euros maybe to fix, and an hour of your time. But somebody could, with the bathroom here, and there's a sink, somebody could come and live here and do it up and renovate it whilst living here, which is... Um, which is often a problem for people when they're looking to do a renovation project. But you could certainly live here, be comfortable, be warm, or be cool in the summer. It'd be, uh, yeah, really, really nice. It's a great space. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put up some floor plans. In the, in the, uh, in the video description, I'll put the, the land size, the barn size, the house size. Um, I'll probably try and find it on Google Maps so I can show you exactly where it is. I'll put a pin there, so you can see the closest other towns. Um, yeah, this could be fantastic for someone. So, if you are looking and you are interested, get in touch, and we'll see you soon. Okay, it's just driving out of the village, and yeah, the roads are fantastic around here. We've got a little stream just to my right. We can collect your water. It's quite, um, it's quite lively actually. There's a, there's a small bar cafe little shop and um, there's a bakery but the bakery is only open during the summer months I've been told but uh, yeah lovely little place quiet it's nice and the squares lively and it's it's pretty close to, to everything that you need you know you're probably 30 minutes to Pavlikeni and I'd say 30 35 minutes to the center of VT where you can get everything so if you want to be tucked away yeah, it's still close. Could be a good option.